as I said today, actually, no, hold up. I'm gonna get rid of this damn music because Migos is in my way. Uh, yeah. As I was saying, we are reviewing the Phone Posit Safaris. Last time I reviewed shoes, I re uh, reviewed the Phone Posit Weathermans, which I also own. But I kind of want to just get these foams out of the way so I can start getting into some retros and maybe some other brands that aren't Jordan. Um, even though Phone Posits aren't Jordan either. You know, in my picture, dog. You can okay, fine. Okay. Well, uh, these are the Phone Posit Safaris. As I said, they are. The thing that makes them so special against the whole the two the whole two tone variants like the um, uh, like the maroons with the red and the whatever the like the uh, bottom is or whatever the sole is. But uh, the thing that makes it so special is that it has it's the standard black, but it has the white dots all over it, resembling an animal that I'm probably gonna put up on the screen because I cannot say right now. Uh, its highlight colors are orange, as you guys can see. So we have the orange stripe, the orange Nike logo. Uh, if we check the inside, we also have orange. And we have the orange Nike Air logo as well. And we also have the Nike, or the uh, Posit logo in orange on the, uh, on the sole. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, that's what makes these different than all the other foams. I forgot to say how much the Weathermans are. On, I believe, I believe on, um... How did I go keep messing up my picture? Sure. Um, on what is it called? Flight Club. The Weathermans are retailing it around. I'm gonna say at the low end around two hundred dollars. At the high end around three seventy five. But again, you can probably get stuff way cheaper on other websites or resale than you would on Flight Club. But Flight Club is a lot more trustworthy. Um, I got these in Chicago. I got them brand new. Uh, I think my box is upstairs. I kind of, I just have a whole box wall upstairs, so I just, I just rebring down the, uh, the Weatherman box from last time. You know, just the standard Weatherman box, and uh, or just a standard posit box. That's what makes these different. They, I, they're, it's got the clear gum sole, but as you guys can see, <laughs> um, I did some walking around in Chicago after I got these. A lot of walking. Now, the sole itself is in pretty good condition. It's just kind of yellowed. I could probably fix it. I don't have anything to fix this right now. And yeah, it's made with the same material, which I'm going to put on the screen because it's like polyurethane or something really big. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this. Does it say anything on the other side? No. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the external. I'm going to show you some, like me walking around and just talking, asking you guys what you want me to review, but that's it for this, uh, kind of this just positive, just like this phone positive review. Um, I, if, would I recommend these? Yes, I would. Uh, phone posits in general are really nice, but this pattern is really easy to match with. I'm, uh, rocking my Monster Energy Mackinac Island, like, custom sweatshirt, but... If you, you guys, all you really need to rock this is just some black and white, or some gray, uh, and you'll be pretty much fine. Other than that, uh, yeah, there's not much. It's very easy shoe to match with, very comfortable shoe. It molds onto your feet. It doesn't matter if you get it a size and a half or a size too big. I tried in a, a pair of 11 and a half foams, and I'm only a size 10. To like ten and a half, and the eleven and a half foams were comfortable. They like walked nicely and stuff. So, uh, if you can't find anything good in your size, going up a little bit isn't the end of the world. Again, you will probably have it for a lot longer. These things don't crease to what I know, or because I'm not. I've I've worn these quite a bit. I've only had them for about a week and a half, two weeks, and um, they haven't creased yet. And I've been running around in them like usual. And these are actually my gym shoes, which is kind of insane. But yeah, that's pretty much it. These things retail, I believe it's around the two hundred to the two hundred and fifty dollar mark. I can actually look this up right now. And yeah, tell me down in the comments what you guys want me to review. I have a pair. I have a, my friend has a pair of Retro 14 Thunders that I might review uh, because they're really nice. They're just uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get any on foot of that because they're kind of um, 
you know, their size nine. <laughs> and nine and a half, I'm a tight fit, but nine, I can't really fit in, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, if we go to Flight Club, they're retailing on the low end of about 175. I'm gonna get some pictures. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out, guys. I got my dog with me to wrap up this video. But yeah, this is what it looks like on my feet. Hopefully the audio quality is a little bit better. I am recording uh, in more of an open house, so you know it, you could tend to hear some whoa, tend to hear some echo. But yeah, um, I'm gonna try to get a better mic. Try to get some actual recording equipment in the future. But for now, this is all I can have. Um, yeah, other than that. Uh, this is what they look like. Trying to go on some uh, more, you know, traverse terrain. Even though I traverse, I think means like to go across. But yeah, you guys know what I mean. I'm trying to, you know, kind of make get you like a little bit different uh, things I'm walking on, so you guys would see how it, it would look. And all those things. I'm trying to turn around because of the wind. But yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me what you guys want me to review. I think I'm gonna go for a pair of retro ones next. Kind of ride the hype of, you know, the probably 250 different colors they've released the retro ones in. And yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the retro ones next time. Ooh, ah. So yeah, see you guys when that happens. I'll uh, leave a like. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. Let's give you... Ooh, ah, ah. Bye.